Hey y'all, it's Katie and welcome back to From My Vanity. Today is a very special video because I also have Levi here in the room as you guys just heard, but it's a very special video because today is my three year anniversary. I've been doing YouTube for three years as of today and I thought I'd do a little special video to celebrate that. <laughs> Levi is just about to go to bed so I figured I'd do the intro and then that way I can do the video when he is sleeping or the main part of the video when he's sleeping. But yeah, it has been three years and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to sit down and just reminisce a little bit and it's actually perfect timing because Melissa Gold recently created her own tag and it's going through pictures and makeup looks that you've oh. created and I thought it'd be perfect to do for this video because we can look back at some of my looks that I've done, my favorites, my least favorites, and also at the end after I've done her tag I'm going to be roasting some of my previous looks and some of them are pretty interesting. Per usual I want to give my Instagram shout out and today's Instagram shout out goes to Kate Bella Beauty. She is my Instagram shout out for today. Thank you so much for interacting with my content. She is a YouTuber and she recently came back to YouTube so definitely check her out. But thank you so much for commenting on my pictures and thank you so much for just interacting with my content. If you want to chance to be featured all you have to do is be following me on Instagram I'm LadyKatie92 over there and then comment as I make posts and then whenever I sit down to film I just pick a recent picture pick a comment and shout you out in the video so now with that intro out of the way I'm gonna go put him to bed and then we'll get into doing the tag and roasting of some of my old makeup looks okay so Melissa's tag is the makeup lookbook tag and I will have her video linked down below of course and I meant to say in the beginning but I'm also inspired by Annette's makeup corner because she did a little roasting her old makeup looks for her two-year anniversary so so I'll leave her video linked down below because she did inspire me to actually do something and actually look at the date and that's why I realized oh I'm pretty darn close so it's all because of Annette making me think about this that I am now sitting down to do this so I'll have both of their videos linked in the description box okay so I'm gonna move all the way over here to hopefully be able to put it in the screen here really nice I should also say that all of these are gonna just be pictures I've posted to my Instagram account so anything on Instagram is what I'm sharing so if I didn't post it on Instagram I'm not gonna use it to answer any of these prompts or any of these questions but anyway the first question is look with your favorite color right away I'm sure everyone knows but green is my favorite color so this look right here that I did I actually did this with a fake palette I duped a design done by I think her Instagram name is doodles by the bunny but this one immediately caught my attention when I was scrolling my Instagram page because you guys know I love greens and this look really turned out really well I really did like it it's just that beautiful green look I don't know just everything about it I really love and I couldn't just pick that because I also like a grungy green it just kind of depends on my mood so I picked this picture to go along with it as well just because I like green. I like bright greens. I like grungy greens. I just, in general, I like the color green and I like the full spectrum. So I couldn't pick just one look that I've done to encapsulate that because like I said, there's been, there's different variations. So I love bright green and I love really deep grungy green. So I had to pick both of those looks for this answer. Now, as I said, that was one A. So one B to that is look with your favorite color combo. So thinking about the color combinations, the first thing I thought of was the look I did with the Killer Pro palette because this look right here kind of encapsulates all the colors that I just love to put together. It's the yellow, it's the orange and it's the green and it just puts that together in such a beautiful look this is still to this day one of my favorites definitely my favorite color combo so instantly this came to mind as just a color combination I absolutely love yellow orange and green absolutely love and like I said this is grungy I don't mind bright but this was the one picture that had all three combined and I just love that color combo so easily off the top of my head I thought of the look I did with my killer per palette so I'm gonna choose that one for my answer question number two your go-to eye look now I really don't have a go-to eye look so I'm gonna give you a couple of them because when I'm sitting down I don't really want to think about my look or if I'm wanting to do a look just for me and what I personally like these are the looks these are the type of looks that I will go for but there are a variety of colors because it just depends on what I feel like that day so yeah I'm just gonna Show you a couple looks but this is the first one I thought of this look I think I did with a dupe for the subculture palette um, the uh, NYX dupe but I mean this look in general that orange and green I really like and it's a very easy look on that you can get it done very quick and easy so it's definitely a go-to look that I would go for for like on the daily another look I recently did with the colored rain palette this is one of the looks I did my three looks one palette with that palette but this look is just so easy so neutral but still fun still kind of smoked out and in the hues and the colors that I enjoy so this is definitely like an everyday look for me personally personally and then you guys know just a nice green grungy look is going to set my heart a flutter so I had to do one more this is another look that I would do on the daily if I have a grungy green palette I feel like I can get really effortless everyday looks for me type of eye looks so quick and easy so between all those those are kind of like my everyday go-to when I want something quick and easy without thinking about it and that like stays in my comfort zone question number three a look outside my comfort zone this is the one time I tried to be like super artistic like the Instagram artists and whatnot and I tried to create an eye look on my eye that was inspired by my favorite flower which is a lily I'm going to put the video here uh, now as I talk because I did you know do a tutorial I was collaborating with another Instagrammer and I wanted to create a flower which my favorites are lilies so I wanted to create a lily on my eyes and it 
it's okay. It's fine. It's kind of funny looking back. I use the Modern Renaissance. Oh, look at that. Like I actually use it. I feel like I never use it anymore, but this is definitely a look that was way outside my comfort zone. One of the first few times I put on lashes and it was such a struggle to get those lashes this day on. If you look really close, I did my best to like edit it out and only get the shots where it wasn't all messed up, but uh, you can see one of the corner, inner corners is flicked upward and just poking out there, which annoyed me so much because I was trying so hard. And I, like I said, this is one of the first few times when I started wearing lashes that I tried these on and they were a very difficult pair. I think I got from like Wet n Wild or something, but I wanted to wear them because they had the little jewels there. Yeah, this was a look, but yeah, this is totally, absolutely, and it's a full cut crease, you guys, you guys know I don't like full cut creases, but this was definitely a look that was outside of my comfort zone. Question number four, unusual makeup techniques. This one was a little tricky because I was like, I don't know, like I don't really have, I don't really have anything I feel like to answer this, but to try to pick something, I did pick this, it's a video actually, but it's me using those little artiste brushes, I think they're called artiste, um, but it's using little toothbrush type of brushes and I used it to create a full eye look, I even did the wing with it. I got the look done. They The brushes work if you like simple eye looks, but if you want to be very detailed, at least I didn't have any of their brushes to get that super detailed. And doing that wing, I know it looks kind of, I mean, I think it looks easy when I watch myself, but I sped that up a lot and I cut out a lot because it was very hard to get a very, very thin line and not mess up. And especially using shadow, it was such a struggle bust, but I was determined to use all three brushes to create a full look. So I did, but yeah. Like I said, I don't think this really answers a question, but it's the only one that I could really use to answer that question because I'm not that creative when it comes to my Instagram page. Number five is bridal look. And so I was thinking about this and I decided to pick two looks. And either of these, if I was doing my makeup for my wedding now, you know, I did my makeup for my own wedding when I got married six years ago, I think it was. Um, but if I were to do it now, Either of these looks I would do and I would just alter it a little bit depending on the colors. Like for example, I did an all matte purple look and it wasn't anything too crazy, just a little purple in the outer corner, but I focused on purple to be the colors to use tones of purples because the bridesmaids all had purple. So anyway, I would just kind of tweak it depending on the color, but this is one of the looks and I, I actually use a Smashbox and Vlada a Petal Metal eyeshadow palette, but I really like this look. I even put a little bit of glitter liner in my crease like I have today, but I did that in my crease then. It just looks so simple and effortless and very flattering, I think very nice. It's nothing too over the top nothing too crazy colorful but still has that dramatic that I like when it comes to my eye looks so definitely that look and then also this look which I did with the Lorac and Beauty and the Beast palette this is kind of just like a more deeper version of the one I just showed you but I also really liked how this turned out and if I was super daring and really wanted to smoke it out I love how dark the outer corner is on this look so this one's a little more intense because it is so intense on the outer corner but I'd be totally cool rocking that. So either one of those two looks would be my answer for this question. Okay, question number six is your favorite look of all time. You guys know I can't pick one, so I pick three. I know, I'm ridiculous. Um, one of them is my candy inspired. This is a strawberry candy inspired makeup look. I did this with Annette. If there's any videos to go along with any of these looks, I'll leave them linked down below. But this look is one of my favorites. Like after doing this look on my um, YouTube page, I actually went on to film a giveaway and I remember when editing that and even watching it over, I just loved how the makeup look looked in that video. And like ever since this, I've wanted to recreate it because I think it just looks so beautiful. I love the mix of colors. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. And then another one that I really liked is way long ago. I can't even remember the palette I used. I know the yellow is from the ColourPop Jelly Mud Shadows that dried up super fast on me, but I love this look as well. I love the crease, how it's that sunsetty look. I like the green in the outer corner and then that really bright yellow on the lid that ties in with the yellow on my waterline. I really like this one. Anytime I see it, I kind of want to recreate this. And I did this a really long time ago. I forget when, but I wouldn't mind recreating that. And then another look I did recently as well is with the Slush Palette from September Rose. And it's this beautiful, just all sorts of colors. It's like green and blue and purple and white in the inner corner. And I just, I had so much fun creating this look. I think it turned out so beautiful. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that was so many fun colors all put together. It's an all matte look for the most part. I think the white was a little shimmery, but mostly all matte. And I just love the cut crease. I love all the color and yeah, it's one of my favorite looks. Question number seven, your worst makeup look. This is easy. Here's one of them. This is with the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. Um, I just, I don't like it. The outer corner, when I watched the video back that I recorded the day I did this, I just don't like how it looks. It was way too hard of a line here and it was just too heavy. I was trying to use shadow to complete the look without a wing, but I feel like it was totally missing a wing. And anytime I see this, I just think back and be like, that wasn't your best look, Katie. Another one that I really didn't like, I used the Profusion Wanderlust palette 
and now they're blue and purple but this this look was so hard to get I remember and I tried to save it with some glitter like liquid glitter on the center of the lid and you can kind of tell I feel like not only is the blending very poorly done but there's just there's problems and it was the in my personal opinion I feel like it was the palette as well as my skills but those shadows weren't the easiest to work with so this was definitely a look anytime I see it I'm just like ugh. Why did I decide to post that to Instagram? I don't know. Okay, so for question number eight, it's most expensive face of makeup, and then question number nine is least expensive face of makeup, and I actually don't, I'm not gonna answer this because I'm not someone who does like least expensive or most expensive, and I don't really have that expensive when it comes to like, I don't really have, I, have, I guess I have some hourglass, and that's as luxury as I get, but I just, I'd have to sit there and think about everything I put on and tally it up, and I mean, I feel like I'm just average throughout, like every now and then I'll do a full face at drugstore, but it's mostly accidental, I don't know, I just, I don't have a look or a face or any kind of go-to face where it's like super cheap or super expensive, so I'm not gonna answer these two, I'm sorry, I know it's kind of cheating, but I just, I don't know what to answer, so... Moving on to number 10. 10 is makeup inspired by someone else. This is so easy for me. I thought of it right away, but it is the look inspired by Amy Loves Makeup when she did the Tribe palette by Juvia's Place. I remember seeing her look, and I think she might have even included a tutorial in it because I'm pretty sure I followed it step by step. I loved it so much. I ended up doing that. I filmed a video with it. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to see it, but uh, I love that look. And anytime I'm scrolling and I see it, I'm just like... I want to do that again because it is so beautiful. So definitely when I think about, you know, looks that I'm inspired by, that is definitely one of the first ones that comes to my head. So it is the answer that I am giving. But yeah, that is the last question from Melissa's tag. I will definitely have her channel linked down below as well as the questions if you want to participate in this tag as well. It's a lot of fun to look back and see what you've done and see how far you've come. But now that we've done the tag, let's get into the roast because I got there's some roasting that needs to happen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know where to start. I was scrolling for a while and some of them are just kind of like, yeah, like this one. We'll start with this one. This is a look. I can't even remember what I did, but I was using the washi tape trick to get a really nice wing, but then I never really blended it past the wing. So it just looks, I think it looks super harsh. I also didn't do my brows at the time and I had done all my face and did the baking and all that. So they're very powdered, but not filled. So they just kind of look ashy, but yeah, this isn't terrible. It's okay, and it's nothing crazy. It's a very simple look, but looking back at it, I'm just like, oof, oof, oof. This look I was super proud of. Um, looking at it now, I stopped doing the collage thingy because when I would look at it scrolling, it just kind of felt creepy because it was like eyeballs everywhere, but I was super proud of this look because it was one of the first times I tried an all matte smoky eye that was very dark. I was just really focused on the depth of it. I, went, I used the Tartlet and Bloom for this, but I was so proud of that look because you guys know I love all mattes and you guys know I just like to get really dark and smoky. I didn't do a wing that day and I just used the shadow. Looking at it now, I definitely see a lot of areas that are a little patchy, especially up in the crease and whatnot, but is not terrible. Definitely not great. Also didn't do my brows at this time and they're just kind of all wild and free but I remember how excited I was when I did this look and how I was like oh my gosh this looks like all the beauty gurus like an all matte smoky eye. I got it. Oh this one. This is probably one of the worst. Maybe not the worst but one of the worst. Ugh, I actually have a blog post doing this tutorial. Please no one ever try and follow this tutorial. I don't know why it took me so long to realize I should bring my lid color up higher because as you can see like my lid color just stops like way down here and then it has all this space and it just looks so odd like I can't believe I took this picture and didn't think like hmm you got a lot of I don't know just space missing up here I can bring it so much higher but I didn't bring it higher but I remember doing this I thought I was so creative because if you can see I have a little gold on top of my wing liner also my wing liner there is really short and stubby like I feel like I do a lot longer but Anyway, I did a little gold liner and I was thought I was being so creative, but oh my gosh, looking at that close up, it looks even worse. The eyeshadow is just so bad. I don't know. I just, mm, I posted this thinking it looked really good and also my brows, but we don't need to go there because my brows, I never did my brows for the longest time. This is one of the very first looks I ever did where I dove into color. Overall, it doesn't look bad, but I remember posting this with my eyes open because once again, just like we just talked about, I would never bring my color up high enough on my lid. So it looked really odd where the crease work was and then where the lid color was, there was just like this middle part of just like, what is that? So I remember when I was selecting pictures, I was like, okay, do the eye partly open. That way it kind of covers that weirdness. But overall, it's a cool look, and I thought about recreating it because it was, one, like I said, one of the first times I dove into color, and it was just so bright and bold for me. I remember catching myself in the mirror so many times that day just going, wow, wow. I actually did my brows here. Look at that. My brows are done. 
maybe not well done but they're done okay this is not my eyes but i have to share i used to do lip pictures and every now and then i will but i just i don't know i don't typically do it just because they're i don't know lips aren't my thing i prefer the eyes so i just tend to not but i have to share with this one because this is for the sweet peach collection from Too faced and Too faced reposted this on their instagram page and i remember getting so much not even hate but just being called out repeatedly in the comments for all the peach fuzz that is underneath my lips and some people were even poking fun being like oh my gosh she's watching the peach collection and she has peach fuzz under her lip everyone was all sorts of upset in the comments and i just like scrolled reading it and just laughing out loud that people could get so butthurt that i had some peach fuzz underneath my lips but anyway not doesn't have anything to do with the eyes but had to share that okay we'll do two more i think this is hands down the worst what is that not only what is that blend but what is that pose i feel like i look so different Odd. I don't know if I was doing the front face camera, if I was doing the rear face camera. I don't know, but something about my face and just this picture makes me look very odd, I think. Anytime I catch this scrolling, I'm just like, oh, that doesn't look like you, Kitty. Um, no brows per usual, but can we talk about that blend on the eyeshadow? What a mess of muddy colors is that? My liner looks pretty nice, but what is the eyeshadow? It just looks like a splotchy, muddy mess. And last one, this one isn't too bad, but again, a little bit of muddiness when it comes to the colors. It could have also been my camera because I didn't have a good camera back then. I never edited any of my pictures, didn't back then, I don't do now, but I feel like my older pictures look very fuzzy and almost like a filtered look to it, but it was just because I had a bad camera. But anyway, this picture, I think I used the Lorac Mega Pro 2. It was a really pretty look, but just so much fuzziness with the eyes when I was like blending in the shadow and whatnot. I feel like there isn't a whole lot of definition. It's just very fuzzy, but not in a good way. It's not like an ombre, it's just kind of like a messy mush of colors but that'll be the last one I roast myself on I did do my brows like I said my brows are never good but they're done I can roast my pictures now like my brows now and pictures I still post to this day because I never get my brows right they're always a mess but all right, so there you have it. That's my tag video and also me roasting some of my old pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed it and being able to just get a sneak peek back. I mean, all these pictures I showed you and little videos are still on my Instagram today. So if you want to scroll, you can find them all. But I thought it'd be fun to sit and roast them a little bit and just reflect. It was really fun to go back and reflect and see these old pictures and see these old videos and just remember how it used to be. But anyway, it's been a very fun three years. I cannot believe it's been three years. It's just what is life? It's been such a crazy three years. I've had two more kids along the way. I've moved twice along the way. Life's a fun adventure, but I do want to say thank you guys so very much for following me. It's crazy to think that three years later, I am getting so close to 10,000, which by the way, if you want to give me some uh, recommendations down below, let me know what you'd like to see me do for my 10,000 subscriber like celebration. I definitely want to do a giveaway, but do you want to see any type of fun video? Um, I never thought I'd get to 10,000, so the fact that I'm almost there, I feel like I should celebrate it like people do when they hit 100,000 subscribers because it's just mind-blowing and like I said I didn't think I would get there so leave me your recommendations down below but I did just want to say thank you so very much for all your support over the past three years it has been and even before that because a lot of people were following me on my blog before I even started YouTube so it just means so much to me to have all your support and just always being able to read all your comments and like I said responding to your comments is one of my favorite things to do and being able to chat with you even though I'm always behind but life but thank you so much for all your support it really does mean a lot to me but anyway that's gonna do it for today's video I I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please hit the thumbs up button on your way out as it helps me in the whole YouTube algorithm and if you want to stay up to date on me and get more content you can follow me at LadyKatie92 where I post there about every day sometimes but yeah that's going to do it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one bye guys